Hi and welcome to our lesson on an introduction to inverse operations. In this lesson we will be looking at converting a subtraction calculation into two addition calculations. Addition is the inverse of subtraction and subtraction is the inverse of addition. Inverse means opposite, so addition and subtraction are opposite operations. Let's start with the subtraction calculation. 10 take away 2 equals 8. A larger number, take away a smaller number, leaves another small number. We want to write this as an addition calculation. In an addition, two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. Our larger number is 10, so this can go after the equal sign. In this first space, we can have either 2 or 8. It doesn't matter which one goes first. This time we will move 2 here. So in this space we must have 8. 2 plus 8 equals 10. There is another way that we can write this as an addition. We just need to make sure that we have two smaller numbers adding together to make a larger number. That larger number is still 10. Again, in this space, we can have either 2 or 8. This time, we'll have 8. So in the next space, we must have 2. 8 plus 2 equals 10. So our addition calculations are 2 plus 8 equals 10 and 8 plus 2 equals 10. The order of the two smaller numbers doesn't matter because they still add together to make the larger number. Here's another example. 10 take away 6 equals 4. A larger number take away a smaller number leaves another smaller number. We want to change this into an addition. In an addition, two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. Our biggest number is 10. So 10 must go here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll have 6. So in this space, we must have 4. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Here is the second way that we could write this as an addition. Two smaller numbers add to make a larger number. The largest number that we have is 10, so it will go here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll have 4. And in this space, we'll have 6. 4 plus 6 equals 10. So we have 6 plus 4 equals 10, and 4 plus 6 equals 10. The order of the two smaller numbers doesn't matter, because they still add together to make 10. Here we have 20 take away 5 equals 15. A large number take away a smaller number equals another smaller number. We want to write this as an addition, where two smaller numbers add together to make a larger number. Our largest number is 20, so 20 must go here. In this space, we can have either 5 or 15. This time, we'll have 5. So in this space, we must have 15. 5 plus 15 equals 20. Here's another way that we can write this as an addition. Two smaller numbers add to make a larger number. Our biggest number is 20, so again it goes here. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll have 15. And so in this space, we must have 5. 15 plus 5 equals 20. So the two calculations that we have are 5 plus 15 equals 20, and 15 plus 5 equals 20. Again, the two smaller numbers can be written in any order. They both add together to make a larger number, 
which is 20. Here are some questions for you to try. Write two addition calculations for each of the following. Pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 10 take away 1 equals 9. Because we are writing an addition, we must write the largest number in this space. In this space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time, we'll have 1. And so in this space, we'll have 9. 1 plus 9 equals 10. Here is the second way that we could write this as an addition. Again, the largest number must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll write 9. Therefore in this space we must write 1. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Question 2. 10 take away 7 equals 3. Let's look at the first way. The largest number goes here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll write 7. And in this space we'll write 3. 7 plus 3 equals 10. The second way that we could write this is by again writing the largest number at the end. This time we'll write 3 here. And finally we'll write 7 here. 3 plus 7 equals 10. Question 3. 20 Take away 9 equals 11. The largest number goes here. Either of the two smaller numbers go here. And so the other smaller number goes here. 9 plus 11 equals 20. Now for the second way. Again, 20 goes at the end. This time we'll write 11 here. And so 9 must go here. 11 plus 9 equals 20. Question 4. 30 take away 5 equals 25. The largest number goes at the end. Either of the two smaller numbers go here. This time we'll have 5. And so 25 goes here. 5 plus 25 equals 30. We can write this a second way. Again, 30 goes at the end. This time we'll write 25 here. And so 5 must go here. 25 add 5 equals 30. Thank you for watching. If you'd like further practice, more questions are available on our website.